should have just let me do it. Like I told you. Let's go. You gotta snatch some cows and let them motherfuckers know you gotta take them out. That's right. Anytime you feel like it. That's you right. gotta get the ground beneath your feet, partner. Get the wind behind your back and go out the blaze if you got you. Otherwise, you ain't shit. You might as well protect your damn self. What's goody? Let's welcome y'all to another uh, episode of. Oh, he's not getting up, Jim. Boxing talk. If you don't know, uh, this past weekend was a big, uh, pretty big uh, weekend of boxing, a pretty important weekend of boxing. Um, so I'm going to just jump right into the topic. I'm, uh, well, as you know, this past weekend was a pretty big weekend for boxing. I uh, had a lot of fights, a lot of few good ones a couple of bad ones <laughs> i didn't get to watch everything this weekend i'm gonna have to go back and uh go back and uh watch a couple of the ones i didn't get to watch this week i had to work and everything so i just kind of watched a couple of the more important fights that i wanted to see uh the you know the replays so the fight that i want to uh or the topic i want to uh pretty much get into real quick briefly is um the uh, Virgil Ortiz versus Igid oh excuse me Igid Kavalauskas I think I said his name right this his la- name is longer than that but I'm shortening it down because I know it's a lot of people do that because his name is hard to say but uh, yes Igid Kavalauskas yeah Virgil Ortiz who went to the fight 17 and 0 with 17 knockouts no losses okay yeah 23 years old very solid. Very solid boxer, very gifted. I mean, 17 knockouts going into this fight. He knocked out everybody he's been in the ring. In. And he is his opponent, uh, Iggy Kavalauskas, a.k.a. Mean Machine, um, coming in at 22-1-1. and I believe he, uh, I believe with 18 knockouts in his record. And this man... He's, they call him Mean Machine. He's 33 years old from Lithuania. 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 Can't say it. <laughs> Lithuania. Uh, he's actually, I believe, a two-time Olympian. So he's no, he's no slouch when it comes to boxing. He's really good, really gifted, skilled, talented, great uh, countering skills, great footwork. Um, very gifted, very gifted. So going into this fight, basically, it was a really good, a really good test for Virgil Ortiz, who ends up stopping Mean Machine in the eighth round. And matter of fact, he dropped him four times in the eighth round, if I'm correct. I had to go back and look again. But once again, Virgil Ortiz, who is very gifted, very good uh, body work. Uh, very good jab, um, just solid, real solid young man, 23 years old. Um, really good test for him because Mean Machine has been in the ring with who is probably considered number one and number two pound for pound right now in boxing, which I would believe that would be between uh, Terrence Crawford and Canelo. So he's in – he. Mean Machine been in the uh, ring with Terrence Crawford, and he went nine rounds, I believe, with him. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But basically, nobody has lasted seven rounds with Virgil Ortiz. So Mean Machine was able to go eight. So that says something about Mean Machine. He's a different kind of beast. He didn't. He got stopped, but he kind of broke uh, a small record for Virgil Ortiz. Which is, you know, so I believe Virgil Ortiz was tested very well by Mean Machine, though. And um, now he's looking to possibly get a, a title shot against Terrence Crawford. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is briefly explain why the fight would be a great fight. But I don't want to see it next for Virgil Ortiz because he's still young. The thing about Mean Machine, when he brought... 
his experience into the ring with Virgil Ortiz, and that's what, because he figured he's 33 years old. He's been fighting for a while. He brought experience in, and Virgil Ortiz brought skill. And Virgil Ortiz was able to overcome that experience. But I just think he needs maybe one or two more fights before he gets in there with uh, Terrence Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford, because Terrence Bud Crawford, he's a man with experience, three division champion, uh, two time lineal champion, uh, one time undisputed champion. I mean, that's a lot of accolades to, uh, as it shows, the man is, he's, uh, he's the real deal, you know, and, um, I just feel like, or I think Virgil Ortiz could use another fight or two between the time, you know, before he gets in the ring with, uh, Terrence Crawford, but at the same time, the way things is looking for Terrence Crawford with nobody else in the division wanting to fight him, it's almost like, Terrence Crawford might be like, just give me the fight. Let me uh, get it in with him. And Terrence Crawford, he might be looking at retiring soon because he can't get, with all the boxing politics, he can't get no fights. Nobody, everybody's staying away from him. He's just kind of being, uh, like, what do you call it, like blackballed out of, you know, boxing, basically, you know. So, I mean, I just think Virgil is young, he's gifted, and I think he just needs to sharpen up on a few little things as an in-ring, because Terrence Crawford, he's very good at adjusting to everything in the ring. He's really good at that. That's what he's pretty much known for, adjusting to any all of his opponents. So he's a switch hitter. He's very aggressive. He's, he's not afraid to get inside with you, or he could be on the outside. He's... But... He has a good reach. He has a long reach. So he could catch you from any... And he could catch you at any angle, basically. From any angle. He'll be... He's just... He's just... Uh, he's one of my favorite. He's actually one of my favorites right now. Because uh, he's, he's just very dominating. As soon as he gets in that ring, it's just like he just takes over. He does everything that he needs to do. I did see some flaws in Virgil Ortiz in the last fight, but that, again, that's Virgil Ortiz going against a very experienced, uh, a former Olympian uh, with one loss in his pro career. I mean, that's what you're going to get. When you go against better opponents, you're going, things are going to open up about you. Things, you, you might have been able, you might have been successful against the 17 people before that, but sometimes that next step up opponent might open up something that, you know, say, oh, okay, I can't do that with this guy, this, this seasoned veteran that I was doing with, you know, these other, you know, guys in the ring. So it's, I think he just has, a, he has a little bit more to learn, but I think if they was to make the fight next, it would be a great fight. I don't see, see Virgil Ortiz beating Terrence Crawford, but at the same time, who knows? This is boxing. It's boxing. It's, it's real. Once you get in there, you get hit. Sometimes that all everything that you uh, train for goes out the window. It's happened. And I like the way... One thing I did like about Ortiz... Yeah, I'm going to uh, wrap this up real, real uh, pretty quick. Because y'all know I could talk forever. Um, one thing I did like about Virgil Ortiz is I'm used to him being on attack mode a majority of the time. Like, at all, all the fights that I've seen him, and he's really, he just jumps on, he, he puts his foot down on the pedal and just goes. But I noticed he respected Mean Machine. He showed a lot of respect to Mean Machine and his experience and his, and his skill, which showed me that Virgil Ortiz is, he's mature. He's mature enough to know, okay, I got to respect this guy because he's, the, he's, you know, he has experience that probably none of my last opponents had, had before. You know what I'm saying? He's been through a little more than a lot of my last one. He was in the ring with the pound for pound number one or number two guy in Terrence Crawford. So it's like you're going to show some respect to somebody who was able to get in the ring with the, the best and, you know, go toe-to-toe. You go... You know, it's just one of those things. 
So he showed that he can do that because there's a lot of young boxers, especially his age, that don't know how to do that. They just want to jump on the pedal with everybody and look for that knockout or look for whatever, you know. So it was good to see him show that he does have, he is maturing and he is mature already for, and he he's ready for the big dogs, though. I ain't going to take that away from him. If they could make that fight, I, that would be a great fight. It'd be an excellent fight. I would love to see Terrence Crawford versus Ortiz for that WBO title. I would love to see it. I I mean, if that if it happens next, then cool. I'll I'll pay to watch it. Shoot, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to touch bases on that. Like I said, I would love to watch it, but I just think Virgil Ortiz needs maybe one or two more fights before you get in with a dog like Terrence Crawford. So that's just me. But again. We'll see what happens. Good good week of boxing. Good weekend of boxing. Um, so, yeah. And I will see y'all soon. We'll touch bases on some other topics this week. And, again, this is... Oh! He's not getting up, Jim. Boxing talk. I'll let y'all be goody. Be easy. <laughs>